Was he sick or depressed? What would make him overdose himself? He didn't say. My only worry is my niece. I don't know how she'd be able to shake off that kind of trauma. I doubt if she can erase the gory image in her head. You just have to tell her that her father slept to her taking medicine and refused to wake up. Binta has a smart bit for Bella. I'm sure she will get over it and understand. Meanwhile, is there any way we can find out reasons for his action? I mean, your late brother seemed healthy and hardworking, so why would he take his own life? He left a note. I'll read it for you. Dear brother, I am sorry I wasn't bold enough to tell you in person. I hope my death will end this problem and not get you and my daughter negatively involved. I am in debt. The interest has accumulated to 800,000. They threatened to harvest my kidney in order to pay the debt. Please take care of Binta. Be the father to her that I couldn't be. I know I failed, both of you. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Goodbye, brother. I love you. Hey, this is sad. I'll just try as much as I can to give Binta the love and life she deserves. Are you okay? Yes, the same thing that was when you got my sleep is not okay. Okay, will I stop schooling? No, you will not stop schooling, okay? Your daddy loved you very much and he wanted the best for you. Now that he is no more, I will do everything I can to make sure you have the best in this life, okay? I love you. I love you too, Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside. That way. Who are you? What do you want here? Look, if you have come for my brother, he's dead. You guys drove him to death. He was the one who owed you. We don't have any business together, so leave this place now. Oh, you think that's easy? Your brother made you his guarantor and next of king. So he's no more, we've come for you. You have one week to pay up. So sorry for your loss. Close your eyes. I didn't have any dealings with. Hey! I know both of you have not had something reasonable to eat for days. So I brought you jello rice. This. Listen. Food is the least of my worries now. Apparently, my brother's death did not end his death because he made me his nest of kin. How did you know this? The talks came here. They paid me a visit. As we speak, I have a debt of 800,000 naira hanging on my neck. And they gave me one week to pay up, else they'll make my life a living hell. Beatrice, the bricklaying job I do does not even provide enough for me to pay for my accommodation and feeding. 
Where do I get 800,000 Naira? You're not in this alone, okay? Please eat first. You need your strength to find and pay up this money. Hi. Vince, are you enjoying the food? Thank you for the food. You're welcome. Vince, uh, you're not asleep yet. Are you okay? No, I miss my dad. It's okay. Eh? Daddy's in a good place, okay? You just have to sleep. You have a long day tomorrow. If there's anything you need, just let me know and I'll provide it, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'll sleep, okay? Good girl. Good night. This is too much. You're here thinking of paying a debt you did not owe. Binta's school fee is there and now the rent. What are we going to do? I just have to give them the 10,000 naira I raised from work. Else they'll be forced to do something drastic. You don't need to carry this alone. You and Binta can come live with me. My door is always open to both of you. Are you serious? Ah, you don't know what you have just done for us. Thank you so much. This means a lot. You're welcome. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank God you're awake. How are you feeling? Not so good. Uh, you're the one. The angel that sent me. It's nothing. I'm glad I was there to help at the time. Please relax. Your family will arrive shortly. Be calm. You're not going soon. Um, I will leave once they get here. But for now, I need you to get some rest. I'm still here to watch over you. You're welcome. She's resting. She will be fine. Welcome, ma'am. I, I was the one that called. Oh, pardon my manners. Your bitter is right. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Not everyone would have done what you did. <laughs> I'm glad I was there to help. Uh, I should be leaving now since you're here. Just like that? Oh, come on, you just saved my sister's life. So what? Uh, it's only reasonable we return the favor. So what, are you, what do you need? Uh, anything on the face of the earth? You name it. Yes, my son is right. The doctor told us if she were five minutes late before reaching there, she, she would be dead by now. I owe you a lot, my baby. We appreciate you for saving Alice's life. I didn't do anything but rescue someone who needed help. I did not save her life. God did. I don't want anything in return. I should be living now. Right. Uh, 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 you can... You can just go. Thank you. 
I'm okay. Can you give her my card? Oh, okay. okay. I'm not your name again. Victrice. Thank you, Victrice. Please you. call me or drop a text. We should probably sit down in a more conducive environment and have a good conversation. And I'm out of this place. Oh, you know what? Better still. Can you take her number? Oh, no, it's fine. I, I promise to call. I'll give you a call. Sure. All right. You're welcome. Take care. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye. Get some things and... Whoa. <sighs> you took quite a while today and you look stressed. I hope all is well. Yeah, I'm fine. I saved a soul today. A lady slumped and almost died, but thank God I was there to rush her to the hospital in time. Oh, thank you. I hope she's better now. Yeah, she's fine. So, I don't know if you like what I'm about to see. No, it's that. The thing is, they, they offered me a blank check. They even told me to ask for anything that they would give it to me in appreciation for saving their daughter's life. But I said I was just glad I was of help. I mean, I could have asked for money and our debts would be cleared. I'm sorry, I messed up. No, 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 you did not. <laughs> Truth is, it's not our debts. It's my debt, okay? You did the right thing. I mean, it's not proper to request money after rendering help to someone when you're not a doctor. It's a good thing that you did not use my problem to become selfish and a greedy monster. Thank you very much for being a human being. So how are you feeling now? I am sick. I'm very sick. Um... The doctor said that I have just a few months to live. Goodness. I, I am so sorry to hear this, I, but can't it be cured? Oh, come on. Yeah, stop it. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> well, it, um, it's something that some people actually fight it, they beat it, and fortunately, I am one of those people whose own is not working. I am not responding to treatment, and I'm just accepted my fate. So, stop, don't, okay. Don't cry, don't, please, do not. I'm fine. I'm strong. I'm just counting months and um, hours and minutes. I just want to explore life. I just want to have fun. So, I need a friend. <laughs> please, oh. can, can you just stop saying this? See, see, don't accept it. You, you, you can fight and win this. Trust me, you, you, you can win this. Please stop saying this. Don't. I love how optimistic you are. I do. Stop crying. Please. I just need a friend. Someone who will be there for me. Who, who will spend the remaining days of my life 
with me, you know, probably travel, you know, see the world, explore things, enjoy the, the happy days of my life. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not crying. I'm just believe me, that friend. I would say no. When you are going through all of this, I need all the support you can get. Of course, I'll be your friend. I, I will be that friend. Thank you. Come here. Hey, babe, are you okay? You look unusually quiet. You know, life is not fair. It gives one money and power, but cuts their lives short gives another longevity but takes away the wealth and peace to enjoy long life. What would make you think about the inequality of life today? I met with Alice. The girl I told you I saved her life the other day. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She... She told me she's dying of blood cancer and has just three months to live. My God. Damn. Oh, my God. How? Such a young lady that has a lot to offer. God. God. <sighs> she asked me to be her friend. <laughs> Who say no? I really feel for her. Oh, why? <laughs> we are here looking for money to pay debts. While someone is out there, with all the money, yet cannot buy long life with it. Life no balance. Yeah. Life no balance. Make no mistake, we are not here to play with you. Hear that? The next time we visit, we're going to use your kidney to foot the debt. Close your eyes! What is this? Now they are not just after me, they are after my loved ones. This is really getting out of hand. So, how were you able to get them off your back today? I pleaded for an extra month of grace. Beatrice, listen, I could wake up tomorrow and have a total change of plan and mind about all of this or regret it. But at this point now, I am ready to do everything it takes to protect Binta. I will do anything. I will do anything to make sure she's safe. Beatrice. 
How do you say we start? Don't worry. I already have the scripts. Yeah. The perfect players, characters, and the location well thought out. All you need to do is just to follow my move. And the plan is in motion. Welcome. Peace. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. 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 Please make wow. yourself comfortable. Wow. <laughs> Your house is so big and beautiful. Oh, thank you. Please sit down. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. What is there not to love about the house? But quite unfortunate, I won't be here for too long to. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I shouldn't be talking about this. Okay, so let's talk about you. What is your story? <clears throat> oh, there's nothing interesting or intriguing. Just say it. Okay. I am engaged to an amazing guy. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Thank you. But with big issues. Okay. What is wrong? He did not only inherit his niece from a brother who took his life, but he also inherited the debts of one million naira. Wow. Okay. And he's been beaten by talks. At every given opportunity, pending when he pays the money. But that, that's 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 crazy. That's wrong. A little blow to a vital part of his body is going to be disastrous. What? This is crazy. They shouldn't be doing that. You know what? I'm I'm taking you as a friend right now. Let me help you. <laughs> No, 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 please. No, I, I can't accept your money. I mean, our friendship is not transactional. It's fine. I'm not saying I'm offering you money to be my friend. This is just a plea from a kind-hearted fellow who wants to help a new friend. Just allow me to do it. It's nothing. I know, okay, for you, one million naira is like a very big money. Well, it's nothing. Something that I'll just go to a small super mall and shop with, or probably buy like a small handbag. So it's nothing. <sighs> please, please. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna let you think about it. Is that fine? Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out again for me. I'm really sorry for the inconveniences, but thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I should be the one thanking you. It's really nice having my hair done in this beautiful salon. All right. Ah, it's beautiful hair. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so, how's your health? Same. I'm just here. Trying to um, accept all life has brought to me. That is okay. So have you thought about, let's not talk about me. Have you thought about my proposal? Are you ready to do that to save your fiance? Yes, I have. Okay. And I'm really grateful that you're willing to help. But my answer still remains no. Look, Alice, I just... I just want to be your friend. I just want to be that friend that will love you and be there for you as much as you want. That's all. Congratulations. That was actually a test. I wanted to find out the kind of friend 
the you you are supposed to be. You know, I've, have, I've had friends and they've done things to me, but I just didn't dare to, to find out if you are here for whatever it is or you're here because you want to be here with me as a friend, a true friend. And now you, you're throwing it. Thank you, Beatrice. There is no need to thank me. I mean, it's the best way to live. <laughs> so, tell me. Wow. With three months counting and the thoughts of death, what do you want the most? How do you intend to spend your last three months? Wow. <laughs> That's a question I've been asked like a billion, in fact, <clears throat> a zillion times. But honestly, I want to experience true love. You know, find a man who will love me for who I am, you know. Uh, and I like tall men, you know, tall, not too fat, not too thin, who are, you know, I prepare. <laughs> and then not too dark, not too light. I don't like light skinned men, but, you know, not too, not, 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 not too dark, not like dark, dark, like this anti, sorry, <laughs> like not too dark, but. A man that will actually just love me for who I am. You know, accept me and take me for who I am. Fall in love, probably just get married to him. Yes, I want to experience love. I want to feel it. I, 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 I want to die happy. Die as a missus. Mrs. somebody, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, it's, are you telling me that it's no one showing you love in such a time? Uh, no one. Well, I've had, I've, I've, I've met, um, I've met different men. But, it was just there, it was just very obvious that they were there because of the money. They, they just wanted to, to flaunt, they, they wanted the wealth. They, 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 it's, uh, Okay, so no, no. So right now, no one. So I just, I just want to meet somebody. I just want to meet a man that will love me and uh, get married, get married before I die. So I'll, I'll get married like say this ring because I want a real ring uh, on this finger. So you get one. So we should put some brothers to test in order for you to get your true love. Okay, tell me about it. Are you ready? Girl, I was born ready. <laughs> I just said that I want it. If I find it right now, I'm going to grab it like, poof, hold it tight. I understand, you'll get one, you will. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I guess I'm talking. What are you saying? Do you know there's no way I can let you do that? Such a move might kill you. No, there must be another way out. There is no other way out in sight. This problem can only end with me and me alone. I should fix it by myself and not just waste my life. Tony, there's a vacancy for a lover. If you can pull this one off very well, 
I assure you that we will be free from all of this. Trust me. Thank you, Tony. I don't know, it's like I'm, I'm seeing you somewhere, but I, I can't really place my hands on where. Do you attend um, San Gribis? Oh, no, 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 not at, not at Do you all. Do Star Estate? Oh, this is so weird. Let me just walk you out of my mouth, remember. This, this is... Somewhere I knew you from. Are you just playing that I don't want to tell you? Well, I don't know where you knew me from. You were staring at me like, yeah. It was scary. Who would have this motive? What is it? You look cool. I have been very disturbed. Everything is going on well as scripted. But why am I so worried? I feel like I'm making a terrible mistake. Should we just abort the plan and ask her to lend us the money? <laughs> I thought you wouldn't ask. If you feel that's a better option, I agree with you. Honestly, I can place a call across to her and tell her that my fiancé needs me and um, I don't think I could go ahead with it. She might feel bad, but she'll move ahead. No. This plan is too perfect to her but. I mean, this will not just settle the debt, but our lifetime finances. Once she dies, we are made for life. So you just work your magic on her and make sure she marries you. And then everything will change for us. Hmm? I'll try my best. But you just know that today is the last day of grace if you intend to change your mind. Because once I meet with her tomorrow and get the ball rolling, there's no going back. Then let's keep the ball rolling. This is the only way out of poverty.
，好几年给我一张。She asked me to marry her. She did? You said yes, right? I couldn't give any answer, I mean. I made her understand how important and serious marriage is. I gave her the impression I needed to sleep on it. There is nothing to think too much. Your role in her life is very simple. You're that guy who gives a dying girl a happy last memories. Just see it as helping humanity and say yes to her. Oh God, man, all of this is happening so fast. I'm not prepared for this at this space. I don't think... <sighs> Tony, can you not see that everything is working out for our good? Look, the sooner you get married to her, the more time you spend with her and win her love and trust. Then nothing stops her from handling her inheritance to you, her darling husband. Then in three months, she dies. And then you become a rich widower and marry me, your old love. Hmm? Look, this is an iron tight plan. Trust me, nothing will go wrong. So sorry I can say yes to her proposal. Just say yes. Ah, uh, how are you doing? I'm fine. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Oh. Um, Priscilla. Mom? Yeah. Ken? This is Tony, my fiance. Tony, my family. You're welcome, ma. You're welcome, bro. <laughs> Welcome. I don't recall you having a relationship. <laughs> How much more being engaged out of the blues? Mom. Alice, listen. It's obvious you aren't thinking clearly. <clears throat> but me, your mom, I am clear headed and I'm alert. Mom, this is my life. I'm happy right now. I should enjoy every moment of this period I have to stay here. So just let me be. I met this man and he's the cause of my glow and my happiness these few days. And so, you know, we're getting married in a week. Baby sister, mom is right. You barely know this man. And marriage is not something that you rush into. People who have time rush into things. I do not have time. I am dying soon. Can you just allow me to enjoy this moment of my life? This man has brought me nothing but happiness. Brought me joy. If you really love me and you want to see me happy this few this time before I, I go, can you just accept and support my union with him? I beg you. He gives me so much joy. I love him. Hmm. Alice, my daughter, as long as it concerns your happiness, you have my blessings and my support. And Tony, Ma. promise me you won't make her shed tears anymore. Ah, mommy, see, I, <laughs> I love your daughter with all of me. And I promise you I'll make her the happiest woman that walks the surface of the earth. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Uh.
to this list. Oh, okay. He says you should eat lots of vegetables and rest. Just rest as much as you can. Why do you look sad? Okay. These things just happen once in a while. I just, um, you know, go dizzy and sometimes I faint. But <laughs> fine, okay? Don't worry. Just promise me you're going to be strong. I am trying to. Seriously. But seeing you like this. Suffering, the, the pain, and the uncertainty of it all. It shatters my heart. I'm fine. Um, okay, can I make a suggestion? Let's postpone the wedding till when you're well rested. No, no, no. No, seriously. No, Tony, no. I'm fine. No, no, he says you need to rest, and you know how stressful it is I to plan a wedding. I am fine. I... I don't have time. I just... Let me just do it. Please. You said you were going to be there for me. Yes. What does it look like you're trying to back out? Oh. But just I want you to be my wife this moment, this instant. Not at the detriment of your health. Don't you understand? Oh, okay, <laughs> let me... Make me a promise. Promise that you will just um, show up at the wedding. Not do anything and rest as much as you can. Um, okay, I, in as much as I, I, I really want to have you think of myself, it's my wedding, I, I just want to, you know, feel the full experience of planning your wedding and have the whole fun and feel the life without the whole thing. I'll do it. I'll probably just get um, the best hands to do it. <laughs> this is some relief. Thank you so and much. Mm. Well, what did they say when you gave them part of the intervention? They said whatever I am doing to raise money must be very lucrative for me to have come up with half a million naira in one week. They did what? Those guys are notorious criminals. So now it has become a matter of extortion. Not only that. Those fellows have been following me all over town, monitoring my every move. They know about my tango with Alice and they want their own part. They are threatening to expose everything to her. <clears throat> so now we are not talking about how to clear the debt anymore. We are dealing with blackmail and extortion. Can this get any better? Who looks after his sibling. And Alice is my only sister. An offense against her is an offense against me. Oh. Can you know you insult my feelings for your sister if you would even assume I have the intention of courting her? I may not have known her for long, but I do know she has a heart of gold. I may not be able to heal her, nor exchange my body for hers to take off 
her pains. But I promise to make her the happiest woman that walked the surface of this earth for as long as she lives. Sound like a well-scripted line from a movie. But I'm going to say what I need to say. If you mess with my sister, if I so much as find that you have a dark secret locked in somewhere, and that you've approached my sister for intentions other than to love and make her happy, I will make you hate the day you were born. Sleeping already. I am calling to tell you to forget about sex tonight. Are you okay? How can you deprive a newly married woman of sex on her wedding night? How do you expect me to maneuver myself creatively out of this? Sex is another layer of complication. Find an excuse. Tell her you're tired or something. But... Look at you. <laughs> Looking all neat and handsome. Where did the broke guy go to? Because I can't see him anywhere. It must feel really good to be married to a billionaire. I feel low. I feel like a gold digger. If my mom were to be alive to see what her son has turned into, she would shed tears. Instead of the self looting why not concentrate on doing a good job to clear your debts? In a year time, you'll forget about this feeling when you become rich and everyone is fighting for your attention. So, should you sleep with her? I couldn't, even when she wanted it. I took her to see a doctor yesterday who advised against any kind of strenuous activity for her, including sex, as it might kill her on time. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Are you saying sex can shorten her days on earth? According to the doctor. Wow! Good news! <laughs> Fantastic news! So we don't have to wait for two months. All you need to do is to give her a rough and hard sex. She dies a happy death. It shortens our weight and we become rich. <laughs> I doubt if this is still about my death. Because you have turned into a dangerous money monster. What has come over you? So tell me, what is really over you? Initially, you never wanted me to sleep with her. Now you want me to sleep with her as long as it ensures her death. Why are you this heartless? Don't you feel pity for her at all? Ha! Huh. So you pity her? You wish you can genuinely fall in love with her. Don't even try it. That is really bad business. I mean, I did not make her sick. So if she dies through the disease or sex, I did not cause it. Fate is against her. Her disadvantage becomes my advantage. So why would I feel bad when in life another man's downfall is another man's promotion? Hmm? <laughs> hey. Ah, honey. Welcome back, my love. Thank you, darling. How have you been? <laughs> So how was your first day at work as a manager? Well, well, I anticipated this, even though it was hectic. I did everything I could to make sure I lived up to it, knowing that <laughs> a lot of people there won that position. I know. <laughs> Congratulations once again. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for I this opportunity. I know that you're always going to make me proud. Trust me, I'll never let you down. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why don't you... So how have you been at home? <laughs> Wow, okay. Hello? Hello, baby. Aren't you missing me? I'm missing you like hell. But I understand what the situation is now, so I'm just trying to bear it. That can wait. You have to come see me. I am starved. I need to be fed. 
babe, you know that's not possible. I'm working late today and I need to take Alice to the hospital to see her doctor. Make it possible. She must come to me. I mean, she was going to the hospital before she married you. Seriously. Look at you behaving like a real husband who is cheating. You're becoming too engrossed in this job and that is making it look <sighs> real to you. Easy. Your suspicions are running wild. Listen, if you want us to end this now, I'm willing to let it all go. Just say the word. Oh. I, I, I can't meet you. I, I even called the office and they said you left. I was like, are you okay, my love? Yes, I had a very long day today. You wouldn't believe what happened to me. What happened? I almost ran over a blind man. I was honking, honking. This man would not move. In anger, I came out of the car to attack him. The next thing I realized that he was dumb as well. Oh, God. I felt pity for him and I offered to take him to his place, oh. only to realize his house is at the outskirts of town. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Oh, thank God you're fine. I was actually so worried. And thank you for doing the right thing. We have to be human together. I know. My husband is caring. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Welcome. The food is ready, though. All right. Oh, my darling Binta, how is the homework going? Fine. I trust you. I'll see you soon, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll see you soon, Ronnie, okay? All right. Don't All right. Shower. All right. Take care. Yeah. <sighs> I've not had an attack in days. Can you please make love to me? Do you want us to defy the doctor's instruction? Babe, I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. I'm fine. I just want you to make love to me. I said too much to us. I said I'm fine. I'm sorry, babe. I hope more when I say no to you. <sighs> but I am doing this for your good. I promised your parents I would take very good care Please. of you, and that's what I'm doing. Please. I'm horny, Tony. Can you just make love to me, please? Yes. But I just left you yesterday now, huh? You don't expect me to come back today. I know. I know we're supposed to see every day, but you know this is a temporary situation. Considering the fact that you even instigated it. I know. I understand perfectly. Don't think I don't. I do. But all I need you to do is to support me to be great, just like you've always wanted. Okay? All right. Binta is late for school. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I knew you went to Antibutus yesterday. That's why I came back late. Your story was so unreal. You know how to lie. You just learn how to lie. I can teach you how to lie. Lying is not good. Okay? Lying is not a good thing. Even sometimes when uncle lies, he prays to God to forgive him. 
Don't lie. Have you heard me? And promise me we are not going to mention Auntie Beatrice. But I did not mention her. I did not mention her um, Auntie Alice is around. So I want you to stop talking to her. Binta, please. Do not involve yourself in adult affairs. Okay? All I want you to do is to not mention Auntie Beatrice and promise to respect her anytime you see her, would you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. That's my girl. Thank you. Come on. You're running late for school. Let's go. Mm. You know how to lie. Hey, you have to calm down. What are you doing here? You have to leave here now. This is not the right place to discuss anything we have to discuss. Oh, you just shut up. It is bad enough that you had sex with her, but to think that you were so exceptional at it that she sang your praise and wished to do it again and again. I'm sorry. Honestly, I wasn't in my right senses. I was intoxicated and it happened. I felt miserable afterwards. 
I'm sorry. No. You're not sorry. Neither do you feel guilty. Because you think you're really married to her. You know, I'm beginning to think that you find her attractive and would not mind if things become real between the both of you. What's this whole fuss about sex? Why is sex a big deal? You were the one initially who advised me to have sex with her, so why are you throwing tantrums now? Yes, I advised you to have sex with her because I thought that rough sex would kill her. And that will shorten our ways. For if it doesn't kill her, then the end of the sex is defeated. Do you know how disgusting it feels to hear another woman share dirty details of the sex she had with your man? Do you? No, put yourself in my shoes. I'm sorry. But it's true, you have to leave now. I'll come over so we talk this. Okay? Here is not the place. And remember, I asked you that we abort this mission. You refused. So why are you getting worked up now? You better pray that this sex works in our favor and there is no complication to the plan. As for aborting the plan, I will put it into consideration. What sort of trouble is what? What's this? How did I even agree to this kind of arrangement? You're pregnant? How? I, I mean, that's, that's a great news. But, but, won't this further complicate your else? What is it? Why is everybody just asking me this question? Like, I drank water and got myself pregnant. Look, this is what I prayed for. I have a beautiful family. I have a caring husband. And I'm about to become a mother of a beautiful baby. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> so, how did your husband take the news? Well, he was aggravated. He was angry. He, he's just worried. He's just worried about the fact that I'm going to die with a baby. It's something that he will not forgive himself for. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, so, <sighs> what's your plan? Are you going to abort the pregnancy? What? Never. I can't do that. This is my dream come true. This is everything I have prayed for. This is everything I've wished for. Look, nothing is going to take this joy away from me. Not even that. So I'm going to do everything to fight, to defend myself and to defend my baby. Yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time to kick you when you're down. This is not a time for blames. This is the time for solution. This is a baby. A new life. How do I do this? If I hadn't taken that stupid wine, all of this would not have happened. I am glad you regret it. The existence of this baby is a mistake that must not make its way out or be erased. Convince Alice to abort the pregnancy. What? No. No, she will never agree to that. She's thrilled and excited about this baby. She can't wait to have the baby in her hands. How do I convince her to get rid of it? I came into her life to bring her joy and laughter, not to be a harbinger of death. If she was going to agree to it, I will not be using the word convince. Of course I know she will do anything to have the baby. But guess what? You and the baby are giving us shared determination to live, and I cannot have that. Or all we have worked for amounts to nothing. That's not I don't know, shut up, I'm still talking. 
you must convince her to abort that baby. Take her home away and she has nothing to live for and die when she's expected to. Why are we bothered about this baby? Why are we even worried about the baby? She and the baby are... They're as good as dead. Why don't we just let nature take its course? Oh, that, is, that is where you, you... You don't get it, do you? Faith cannot be on her side. It has to be on mine. Alice must die. Nature or no nature's involvement, I don't care, she must die. I know uncle has not had time to be with you like I used to. It is because uncle has become very busy lately. Is Auntie Alice okay? Um, Auntie Alice is going through some issues now, but you trust uncle to take very good care of her, don't you? Yes, I do. Please take care of her. She's my best friend. Mm, now that gets me jealous. I thought I was your best friend. Mm. <laughs> not to worry, I'll take very good care of her, okay? Good girl. Continue with your homework. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. I know I'm going to die soon. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't. She said it before and she just confirmed it again. No. I, I failed you. I thought I was going to fight. I thought I was going to stay a bit longer for you, but I failed and I'm sorry. You did it. You can fight this, honey. I know you to be a fighter. I know I know your strengths. I know you can fight this. You can come out of this strong. Just try, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your words. Now I feel energized. I can do it, right? You can. I can fight it. You can fight it. You believe in me? I trust you. And I trust myself. I, know I will you. fight it. I'm not going to go up, bro. I will fight it. I just... If I don't threaten you,
You don't come around. Are we still in this together? Of course we are. Why do you have doubts? Because if we are, why are you not worried that Alice is still alive? She's supposed to die within three months. And she has lived beyond six months and still counting. Is there something you're not telling me to me? There is nothing to tell Beatrice. This is a mission of fate. You and I put this in the hands of fate. Now that it seems like things are playing out differently, maybe fate does not approve of it. Really? Obviously you to me. You did not only give her words of love and encouragement, but you checked her into a powerful support group that gave her the will to live. I heard you tell her how you cannot live without her. That was you being honest. That wasn't fake. It was real. Was I supposed to be fake? Mind you, thanks to that, Alice and her lawyer have willed everything to me in the event she doesn't survive for being a wonderful husband to a dying woman. Isn't that how the script is supposed to play out? Yes, the debt has been paid. You're still being blackmailed by them. And you pay them 500,000 every month. If she dies, so does everything. I need you to abort this mission. I need you back. Tell her the truth if you must, or just walk away. You are acting out of emotions again. Alice is carrying my baby. Alice is sick. Won't it make me a monster if I just wake up and walk away? I don't care how that makes you. I know I need you back in my life. Oh, yes, I remember you told me about your fiance when we met. <laughs> Welcome, baby. Hi, baby. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> How have you been? Fine. How was your day? Very well, thank you. Mm. How's the baby? Good. Aren't you going to say hello? Uh huh. Oh. Oh, it's kicking well. Well, well, well. We are good. Right. We are okay. <laughs> I, I want to go up and fresh up. Oh, sure, no problem. I will join you soon, okay? <laughs> Right. So, how is it going with him? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> he's always out of town and that makes him temporarily out of my life. But I have high hopes that he knows who his heart is with and where his home is. Very true. That's very, very <laughs> true. Ah. Oh, thank God for my man, Tony. Tony is loving, caring, so passionate. Like. He shows me so much love. I'm just so grateful to God for giving me a man like him. You know that I knew he was the one from the first day I set my eyes on him and it's God's gift to me. I'm so grateful to God. Look, don't worry, God will give you a Tony because with men like him, marriage is so sweet and easy. Did <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it? It's written all over you. Oh, thank you. And I will pray to God to give me my oh, own Tony. Tony. <laughs> amen, no, amen. <laughs> Okay, uh, um, I, I, um, I want you to be my child's godmother. Uh, and um, you know, I'm almost due. So for the baby shower, I don't know if you can um, assist me in planning. I hope that is not too much to ask. <laughs> Come on, do you have to ask? You have my support Thank anytime, you. any day. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, don't worry, God will bring that perfect man for you. 
You know you can't keep summoning me to this place. I mean, what if someone sees me walking and out of your house? Have you forgotten you're my wife's best friend? So you now address as your wife in front of me. Hmm? Wait. So you know, this game was created to last for just three months. And now it is seven months. I am no longer comfortable with all of this. You have to end it. You look too sincere in turn, that alarms me. You now blame the player for being good at the game? Beatrice, didn't I go into all of this to fall in love with her till she dies? Isn't that the plan? <laughs> I don't love her. I am only playing by the rules. In no time she'll be gone and I, as the legitimate widower, will be entitled to everything. So why are you freaking out? Because every element in me is screaming that I am losing you. So then you're losing you. I can never allow that to happen. It is time to flip the narrative and put an end to this once and for all. What do you propose? Since she has refused to lie, naturally. Let's kill her. What? Yes. We have to make it look like suicide or dead by accident. Kuti is back. <laughs> Welcome, Kuti. Welcome, you, love. Yeah. Thank you, honey. How are you? We really good, good, good. Oh. How's your day? What's good? Food is ready. Uh, ready to eat. I want to exert my heart to congratulations to both of you. Um, you have survived the past six months when you have died at the tournament. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Well, I will say a big thank you to, to you, to my husband, and especially to God. <laughs> but how long am I? Um, okay, I'm going to leave now, right? But how long am I going to leave for more? Well, at this point, the prognosis didn't give a definite time. Okay. Yes. Well, you're healing, Alice. And one who is healing is not at the risk of dying. Whether they will live and they will not die. Doctor, are you saying my wife will not die that she will leave? Yes, I am. What you guys <gasps> did really worked, as far as the treatment. I need to study Alice's case so I could use as a reference for other patients with the same ailments. She is indeed the description of miracle. <laughs> I'm going to leave. God, thank you. <laughs> You're going to leave. Wait, wait, doctor. I'm not going to die like now. No. I'm not going to die, Alice. You sure? Yeah, sure. Babe, you're not dying anymore. Congratulations. You're going to leave. <laughs> Mm 
Ich habe vielleicht geguckt. Oh. Ich habe vielleicht geguckt. Hey, are you okay? Ja. Yeah. Why are you frowning at Beatrice? Frowning? No, I'm not. I. I just remembered one stupid thing the staff did at the office. What happened? I got everybody overwhelmed. Are, are you serious? Yeah. So what did you do? It's okay. I'm taking care of that. I hope you gave them a suspension. Of course you I did. You should not do that kind of thing. I... Yeah. Are you okay, my love? No, it's some... too much. Yeah, no, some itches around here. Oh, okay. Oh. That okay. has been handled. Don't worry. Okay, great. I don't know why this starts to behave like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Do you want to clean it? Yes. No, I don't. And so, how's my little Coco? I hope you have the same one. Well, Coco is a good boy. I He's kicking. <laughs> and I'm so happy. He's relentless like his father. Okay. <laughs> I feel so excited knowing that the doctor said I'm responding to treatment. And Beatrice, did I tell you? I'm not dying again. The doctor said I will live long and be very healthy. <laughs> Isn't that good news? <laughs> oh, thanks to God Almighty and to my dearest and lovely husband. Thank you, baby. Thank for you for helping me to fight this. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, it's <clears throat> good to know you. You're getting well. Yeah. <laughs> no more dying. Yeah, no more dying again. <laughs> it's um, it's a miracle. It is. You can say that again <laughs> and again yes. and again. You know, miracles do happen every day. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thanks to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you taking that to? Your wife, of course. She said she wanted to take her medications and I offered to get her water. Did I do anything wrong? You're not supposed to be here. I'm not comfortable with this. Let me have a glass. Wow. <laughs> wow. So you are afraid of my poison. But you're not afraid to test it with your life. That means you're ready to protect her, even if it costs you your life. Then that is not you being a good man. You are falling for her. So you are falling in love with Alice. He says, I can't, I can't believe this. Tony. Listen, she might be worried what's held in the water. I need to. <laughs> I'm not done talking. I, we are not done talking. You betrayed me. And you will have to fix all of this. Fix your emotions. Your feelings, fix whatsoever is making you go against the plan. <laughs> Tony, if I open my mouth and tell Alice this plan, you see this your love net? It will turn to hell net. Two days. Tony, I give you two days. Kill her and we proceed with the plans. At the end of the day, he will have to come back to me. Hmm? Or I will let 
of your life. A living hell. Two days, two days. Two days. The bastard thought he could outsmart me and confess his sins and seek for forgiveness where he gets to be forgiven and live happily ever after. Never. He does not get to be the repentant good husband while I become the bad friend and live alone in misery. If I go down, he goes down. I will be the one to let out the cat. It doesn't get to end a game I created. Oh, oh. Now I remember what you are asking for. You thought you could confess your sins and be the good guy? No. I decide when the game ends. I will tell them everything. There is no lying your way out of this, Tony. is danger to Alice. I think it's about time I told her how dangerous you are and how she can't trust you. <laughs> so don't that be you. A man who pretends to love her so much but cannot wait for her to die in order to inherit her wealth. <laughs> Tony, Tony, I gave you time. I remember I did. I gave you time to return to me. But I can see that you need to be pushed out of your comfort zone. And I am here to give you that 
cross. You don't get to live in paradise while I rot in that dirty, stinking place. Guess what? I am here to bring you down to my level where you will always belong, my love. All of this, it's a miscalculation. I failed. I accept. <laughs> Dear Mama, the food is ready. <laughs> Are you <right>? <laughs> <laughs> oh. From the first time I set eyes on you, I knew you were fake. I knew you were trouble, Tony. If Alice hadn't died in three months, you would have staged her death and go away with all she has. Why? I, you keep quiet. I will ensure you crawl back to the gutters you come from. You will never have a good life. Tony, you will rot in jail. I'm not all of that. See, I... You are a guy like me. I warned you, Tony. I'm not all of that. Believe me, I... You're welcome. I warned you that if you were shady, that I will destroy you. How could you take advantage of a dying woman, Tony? I did. You and your you and your bloody fiance staged it all, also you guys can abscond with her in irritant. That's heartless, Tony. I I I I the truth is I fell in oh! Alice, <laughs> this man here is not your husband. He can't wait for you to die and claim your inheritance. Mom, mom look. I know you see him as the man who is here because of my money. But he's here because he loves me. And he's here to protect me and stay with me. Alice, a man who came into your life with lies can't be trusted. Are you? A man who's actually with me for my money will not protect me will not be there for me. Will not call the ambulance when I am sick. He will not be there to, to, to guide and watch that I am fine. What are you talking about, Alice? This man wanted and wished for you to die for all you have. So you can get back to his fiance Beatrice. That's, that's not true. He's a scammer, can't be part of his family, man. I know, Tony. And I understand everything. But I know this man. This man is a good man. He loves me. He's actually here because he loves me, irrespective of everything that happened, which I know. I read it all. I saw it all. And I understand. Very well, then, sister. Very well, then. If that's what you want and you think you find happiness in him, then so be it. But mind you, Tony, if you ever pull a stunt as silly as this again, you won't live to tell the tales of your actions. He's not that kind of man. I know him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Three, two, one, and uh, action. Well, sister. I'm sorry. So much. I love you too. <laughs> I'm deeply sorry about everything. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you either. But you've proven to me true love. You've showed me strength, love. And I appreciate it. Irrespective of everything. Thank you. <sighs> you know what, Beatrice? You know the time you introduced me to Tony? 
<laughs> I didn't understand what you were planning to do, but you miscalculated. Mm. I understand again. Yeah? Tony here is mine. God has given him to me and is mine forever. No, Alice. No. I give you everything. And I will take all of it away. For every misery I feel, I will give you and Tony twice of it. I'm not going to have you threatening in my house. All right, Beatrice? So I'm just going to politely ask you to get out of my house. Get out of my house before I call the police. Get the fuck out of my house. Can you just... You actually thought I was going to die. You were very excited. She would die and... This... I love you. Get out. It's not over. Get out! This... It's not over. You can't do anything. Get out. Ungrateful idiot! <laughs> <laughs> 